Welcome into a Sunday sermon. And as you uh, may or may not know about this time, every Sunday we do a, um, we post a, uh, a, a reading from um, the United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept book. Uh, it's a compensatory counter racist code by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. This happens to be the 2016 uh, edition. And it uh, was revised from the, the I guess the uh, uh, 1984 edition, which I have actually back in, uh, in Basel. Anyway, this is a revised expanded edition. This is a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, white supremacy. If you're not a victim of racism, white supremacy, then, well, this is not the tone for you unless you're just doing some research, right? Also, there's another volume that comes along with this. The one you bought was a separate price, but I mean, it's called uh, The Word Guide. The first, the first book has a little word guide in the back, but this one has a separate one because it's so big, you know. So every week we, we pick a section to read. Uh, this week I'm 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 going. Well, there there are nine areas. Mister Neely Fuller Jr. explains that there are nine areas of uh, human activity, and uh, and and the area that we want to deal with uh, this this week is a uh, area. Uh, three, which is entertainment, uh, the, the nine areas of ec economics, education, uh, entertainment, labor, uh, law, politics, uh, religion, sex, and uh, war, counter war. I'll let you see that this is on page uh, two of the book. You can see the they list, he listed there rather nicely. So you can see that rather nicely, nicely and neatly. Nine's a good number. People wanted to make a tenth one under health. I'm going like, nah, health is. Everything is intertwined anyway, but nine is a good number. It's a number of completeness. Anyway, on page um, 120, not a good number. Two and one and zero, they're equal to three. Three is a good number. Three is my number. Anyway, the, the area we're going to talk about right now, I think I'll use some glasses to read, right? And it's, uh, let's see, he, he, he breaks down a thought like that, and then he, and then he explains it has an explanation. So this explanation is this long. The thought is, is like that. So let's let's start. This is Sunday sermon. It's our sermon. Uh, area three entertainment one twenty, 120. one twenty and one twenty one. I suppose. Avoid making comparisons between yourself and other non-white people. Avoid measuring yourself by watching what other non-white people do. Do not seek excuses to nitpick or gossip. And particularly, do not, for any reason, spend time, energy, or money trying to show off. Oh, don't we know about that? Before I get, it, before I get into explanation, here's the thing. A lot of celebrities and whatever have you, uh, uh, celebrities, I'm talking about entertainers, as well as uh, sports figures, you know, basically, well, their 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 thing is to show off. <laughs> they, they show off, show off, and show out, right? And we have a lot of that happening. I I, get, I remember I mentioned there's a word guide, right? Well, there's this whole thing happening with uh, Kyrie Irving or whatever, the basketball player from the from the Nets, uh, the Brooklyn Nets. Um, and one of the things is one of the people that came after him because he said. He posted something on on his. I don't do these other things. I only do YouTube and and Instagram, and, and my YouTube automatic gets shift over to my my bit shoot. So that's the only social platform. But I guess Facebook is very popular, and he he reposted or uh, get did something with with some film that's out right. And this film seems to be have people upset right. It got a lot of people upset, and so. And then they want him to apologize for reposting the film. I guess supporting whatever the film is saying. And and one of the things the film is saying is is against what people think, whatever it is. Now what now because he's a celebrity, other celebrities get to talk about him. The other people, everybody gets to talk about him, whatever. I'm calling myself best or whatever it is. But one of the people, for instance, here's how I would here's how how I would handle it, right? Where I, uh, 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 brother Kyrie. Because in the press conference, you know, they, they're talking basketball and somebody's going to come up about this incident, right? I would say, hold on. We're talking basketball right now. If we want to talk about that, then we need to get 
we need to get everybody should need to be on the same page of a book. And I and I choose if I were this I'm, I'm Kyrie speaking. I choose the United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. to make reference. So if you haven't read that book, then you're not gonna we, we can't have a conversation. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do, I mentioned this in my um, in my Instagram. What I'm going to do, I'm talking about if where I uh, uh, Brother Irving, Brother um, Kyrie. Um, you know, I have all this money and they want me to take some of this money and, and give it to this organization that complained about what I posted or whatever have you. Well, I'm going to take an equal amount of that money and I'm going to buy a lot of these books. And, you know, like uh, as an athlete, you know, I'm going to give these books to all of my teammates and to management. In fact, every time I play baseball in, 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 in another city against another team, I'm gonna gift the whole the uh, all the teammate all those all those people in the opposing team this good book, and people like Stephen A who keep on coming after me. There's a there's a companion book to this called the Word Guy. Since he's into words, I'm gonna gift him the Word Guy. So anytime these people want to talk to me about something, then they need to make reference to this book. And if you want me to visit some museum or something like that, I'll visit your museum. But on say for instance, your museum is in I don't know. Uh, the, the Middle East, you know, say it's in the Middle East. Well, I, on the way back, I'm going to take a trip down to, to, to the door, no return in Gore, at Gory Island, is in Senegal, you know, Senegal, the Gambi Senegal area, right? Well, there's a door called No Return. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, people who play basketball, they have lineage from that West African situation. And uh, on on Gory Island, they have the door no return, but they also peep unbeknownst to people. There's a, a a little distance away, maybe a quarter of a mile away. There's this whole setup where they have like a different, a, let's call them tableaus, about twelve of them, of of dealing with slavery, with with that slavery, that genocide, that Holocaust that we call that that's called slavery, mid Atlantic mid Atlantic slave trade it comes from there. So, you if I visit any place in the world that deals with it, then I'm gonna, on the way back. I'm gonna stop by Gore Island. Those people with me, they can stop by Gore, and we can go through that. So what I'm trying to say, you you don't you don't fight something by reacting to it. You say, "Oh, okay, gotcha," and then you bring your own facts. I got off. That's what I'm saying. Should because if you don't do that, you do nothing but showing off. That's what I'm saying. I guess you know. Now, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. explains this uh, dirty every activity, this 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 point he was making here, comparing yourself to others and whatever, or, or trying to be what you're not. Right? Many non-white people spend too much time comparing themselves to each other. They enjoy this in quotes. They enjoy watching each other. They spend much time and energy gossiping about each other and showing great interest in nitpicking the trivial comings and goings of each other. Hmm. Many of them spend the better part of their existence seeking to promote jealousy, envy, snobbery among themselves. Yes, they do. However, if one understands anything about the people of the known universe. One should certainly understand that, considering all things, there is nothing involving a non-white person to envy. They, they shoot a basketball, they, they slap somebody on a war show, you know, what's to envy? Nothing to be jealous about. Nothing to be snobbish about. There is nothing about such behavior that is constructive or complimentary. Such behavior only helps to maintain the status quo of injustice and incorrectness, particularly the injustice and incorrectness expressed in the form of white supremacy. In other words, well, I'm interpreting it now. If you look at the situation and you say, well, who wins? The white supremacist wins. You're funding, you're, you're using money that they say you did something wrong to fund their white supremacy.
It is important to remember, however, that no people in the known universe are the quality of people that any people should be. Hey, nobody's above anybody else. Therefore, there is absolutely nothing about any people that should provoke jealousy, envy, snobbery, gossip, or praise. Oh, you have the ability to do this or that, and then you're gonna then, then you're gonna say, oh, what? And then the people that are sniping against you are they're just envious. They're jealous. So why are you gonna engage with them? Have your own program. And like I said, if somebody insists you do something, you say, Oh, okay, I got enough money. I'll do that. And let's do this also. You, you got me doing what you want to do. Now I'm going to do what needs to be done. There it is. Just a, well, a Sunday sermon for me. T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.